Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to be trying out some new makeup. So I don't have a full face of new makeup but I did get most of the new collection from Floresis which is their Nomad collection or Nomadic Glam collection. I'm very excited to use this eyeshadow palette. I also got the new About Face foundation. The shade's not perfect but I think we can you know make do. This isn't going to be a full review of this. I'm going to have to do wear tests and all of that but Try this on camera. I've got some other new stuff that we might not use. I've got the Lisa Eldridge setting spray finally. So we're gonna try out some new makeup, see what we think. Mostly probably this because they sent me, you know, all of it and or most of it um, and then see what we think. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I'm a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a definite soft spot for any makeup and high-end makeup, which I think this really falls into that kind of category. <laughs> Um, and I tend to take a pretty analytical approach to the content I make, be it trying something brand new or talking about and using things that I already know and love. And I have new videos every week, so I'd really love to have you subscribe. Okay, so I don't have any makeup on yet. Uh, I was going to film with maybe just this, but I figured, you know, this came, might as well try it too. Um, I do have my brows done. It's just some brow gel from Milk Makeup, and then I have my skincare done. That's it. I do have a little bit of redness around the center of my face today and some razor burn, you know. Not the best skincare day, or not best skin day, but not the worst. That I just got that I'm not going to be, I probably won't be using today because we have this palette and a blush and a lip. Um, I bought... Uh, with my Christmas money and with a sale, I bought two of the Shantikai shadows. I bought Rhino, the Rhinoceros shade, and Pangolin. I've already used them both, but I can give you more thoughts of these later if you would like, so just let me know in the comments. And then I also, and I feel bullied, I, I felt bullied by Khaki for this, but I bought an Hermes lipstick. I brought Prune Noir, which... I've already worn twice. Really, really love it. Zero regrets. Love this packaging. Don't think I'll be wearing this today, but I could do uh, maybe a video with these. because These are both cool tone purpley shades. Uh, soon, if you would like, just let me know. I feel, like I'm, I feel like I'm behind on filming. I wanted to have some other stuff go up last week that didn't happen. I got my COVID booster finally, and that really made me not feel well for a couple days. Uh, and kind of like threw them off my whole schedule. I waited till now because when it was, I was gonna get it with my flu shot back in September, but then I got sick and my doctor, my long COVID doctor said, well, you're gonna have natural immunity for a little while. So like wait till the new year and then get the booster. So I just got that. And then my husband has had a cold all week <laughs> um, along with some of my other friends in other parts of the, the country. And then uh, now I feel like I'm getting it because I woke up kind of sniffly today. So I did take a COVID test and it's not that, uh, at least according to that test and all of his came back negative, but you know, don't really want to get sick again. Uh, hopefully it's just a little sniffles that go away in a couple days. I definitely feel a little tired and low energy and like, I always feel like kind of achy and pale when that stuff happens. So, you know, whatever. Uh, the other thing that I got that I think I'll do, I might do a dedicated video on if you're interested, is now that it's back in stock, I bought Lisa Eldridge Vega, and I have used this once already, so if you would like a video, like a is this worth the wait kind of video, let me know. I think I'm going to start with eyes, so we'll talk about the foundation in a little bit, um, but Floresis did send me most of their new collection, so this is the Nomadic Glam collection, they even came with a little uh, brochure. It's supposed to be um, inspired by the steppe, like the Mongolian steppe and the nature there the, and like the culture there. Uh, it's really beautiful, really well done, really like this. If you don't know, Flores, this is a luxury Chinese brand, so this makes sense. So they sent me the palette, which is the Into the Wild palette. And I think it retails for $50. And then there's a satin liquid lipstick that they sent me, a cream blush that they sent me. So we'll try that. Um, they didn't send me their cushion foundation, which launched with this. I did look at it and there's only three shades 
which isn't surprising from, I feel like shade ranges tend to be pretty light and not very extensive for a lot of uh, that kind of product, which is why I've never tried one before. So there's a light beige, a beige with neutral undertones and a medium beige. They didn't send me that. They did send me the powder, uh, which is the tinted blurring powder. And then there's also another powder that they did not send. There's like a, a translucent and like a light purple one. They sent me the tinted medium beige blurring powder. So got a little bit of a few things. I definitely feel some pressure on my sinuses. Also, I'm red from touching right here. So I apologize if I sound a little off. Um, but this is the palette. This is the Into the Wild palette. It's really pretty. It's got this either leather or fake leather. It's probably fake leather um, that's engraved and then has the plus, like the seal on it. It's really pretty. Like all of it has that. And it's the same size as the face palette that they sent me before. Did not drop it. <laughs> oh my God. It's the same size as the face palette they sent before. So here's the other eyeshadow palette I have from them. It's long and skinny, still really beautiful and intricately detailed. Uh, so here is the new palette. Really like these tones. And here is the old one that I have. So you can see, I think I actually like the size of these pants a little bit more than the skinny ones, but it's really beautiful really similar to this, which I also use as an eyeshadow palette. I think this is really beautiful. Really excited to try this out. So it says, this actually has a description of the shade, so I'll grab that. Okay, so you've got a matte light brown here. Then they describe this as an orange yellow. That makes sense. Then this shade is described as, this is Glittering Sunrise, which is an orange gold shimmer. It looks, yeah, like, an, like a copper to me, I would say. And then we have the middle shade, which is a matte brick red, my favorite kind of red. Then this shade here is a uh, champagne shimmer. And then we've got a dark turquoise glitter, which looks really pretty, and a medium dark, a medium brown matte. I really love the attention to detail and the embossings in these. It's just really beautiful. And then this is the blurring powder that they sent me. I've already used this. This is actually really nice. I will use it again today after the foundation. Um, it definitely blurred my skin. I also have my house labs here in case I need it. And then this is the blush. Have not tried this yet. It is really pretty. And then here is the liquid lipstick. Really nice component. So the liquid lipstick, I'm gonna actually put this on now just so we can kind of see how it dries down. This says one swipe color. This is a milk tea brown color and it's supposed to be a non-drying comfortable lip. It says for even apply thin layers, wait 15 to 30 seconds and then reapply for thicker layers, wait 30 to 60 seconds. So let's try this out and see what I think because that way I can wear it throughout the video. Right now I just have a little bit of my House Labs lip oil on. So it unscrews, it's got a nice doe foot. It's a pretty color. I don't really notice the smell. It kind of smells like the Kaleidos Lip Clays and the Lethal uh, lipsticks, like that. It, I have a feeling it's gonna be that kind of a formula. I'm just grabbing my bronzer for a mirror. Okay, so it's like a My Lips But Better color. Like a warm version of My Lip color. This is actually really nice. Okay, so this is really nice. It is a very soft doe foot. Uh, I don't really notice the scent or anything. It feels really nice on the lips. It does feel have that kind of velvety silicone feel that the, the Kaleidos Lip Clays do, but this is thinner than those, but it's that kind of soft matte formula. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna feel once it dries down, but I really like the color. It's very natural. I will probably wear this quite a bit. Okay, so for eyes, I'm gonna put a little bit of eye primer down and then we'll try out the palette. It's actually nice and kind of sunny today. It's been frigid here. It was like 17 degrees the other day, which is really not common in Seattle. Like, I, it kind of made me homesick for New York. <laughs> but it was weird to be that cold here. 
Um, but yeah, I'm sorry I feel so behind on things. I also still need to do my favorites and fails video, which I will probably film after this, um, but not with natural light, because by then it'll be dark, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm gonna pull off the sticker here. That's always so satisfying. Really nice mirror, very crisp, very clear. And then it's just a really pretty neutral color story with that turquoise. I will probably use that today since there's the light champagne, the bronze, and that. I think, I, yeah, I will probably use the, tur the turquoise uh, glitter. So let's grab a brush. Okay, so this is a rubber 15. It's just a nice fluffy brush. And I'm gonna pick up, I don't really wanna ruin the embossing by swatching things. So I'm just gonna pick up a bit of the light beige and see what that looks like on my skin tone. So it picks up nicely. It's got a little bit of a yellow tint to it, which I actually like. And I think this would be, yeah, this is a good setting the primer kind of shade for me or an inner corner pop, but it's too light to really show up. It's just setting that, you know, kind of white primer. But having it there will probably help things blend. So I'm not mad. Let's try the yellow. It's a little more pigmented. Yeah, it's still very pale. So those are both like buffing the edges kind of shades, so on. It's kind of what I thought. They literally just set my crease. Didn't really make a difference. But inner corner, blending the edges, we'll see. Okay, so I could go straight in with the medium brown, but I wanna try, let's try the brick red. Maybe I won't use the I mean, I like the contrast of others, but this is the main shade in the middle. I feel like this would also be a pretty blush. Nothing really came off when I tapped, and I'm just gonna buff that into the crease. I really like the mattes in the other formula, the other palette that I have from them. This one has, you know, like a light beige, a medium beige, a dark brown. They work really well. They just kind of blend effortlessly you know, what you kind of expect for an expensive palette. There's pigment, but not too much. They definitely build and layer nicely. So I'm really happy to have received these. So I'm just gonna kind of swipe this all over. And you can see it's, I don't really like red on my skin tone. Well, it's ever lipstick, but like on the eyes, I don't really like red, but a brick red that's a little more earthy and toned down, I really enjoy, and I really like this color. I would say it looks maybe slightly more red in person. It's looking a little orange on camera, the brownie orange. No, I guess, you know, it's very, it's just brick in person. I think I had a little bit more of the first shade on this side, so it lightened it a little bit. Blush. So this is a really pretty shade. I do think this would be a really nice blush. So I'm gonna grab just a refer one brush. And I'm gonna go into the brown, the medium brown. It's ruining the embossing a little bit. I do really like the theme of this palette. You've got the step, the, the sky, like the all of the natural themes. I think it's really pretty. Picked up decently. It's not gonna be the darkest brown, that's fine, but it is adding a little bit more, I feel like it grounds it a little bit to have the brown there and not just the brick shade. And they just blend into each other effortlessly. That took no time. Okay, so I'm gonna do this on the other side. Okay, so really like the way those are working so far. I'm getting a little bit of depth, but not much, but that's fine, I don't need, if I needed more, I could always add like smudgy liner or something. So I'm gonna put, I feel like with the other palette, the shimmers are pretty, but they're not, they're a little more subtle unless you really layer them or use your finger. Um, so I'm gonna try this over the Pat McGrath Intensify stick. I have NYX Glitter Glue, I just don't, I just prefer this, so I'm gonna use this instead of Glitter Glue. And just So if you are new here, the reason I like this, and I got this recently um, for the first time, 
is it helps bind like a glitter glue. You know, it's got that mixy medium. It's mixy medium, so it helps bind things, but it doesn't feel, I don't feel them on my eyelids like I do with an actual glitter glue. I wouldn't use this with glitter, I would use glitter glue, but I think for most shimmers, it's fine. Okay, let's try the bronze kind of shade. Oh, as I touch it with the brush and break up the embossing a little bit, you can see some of the glitter really and how sparkly it is. So really excited for this. Picked up nicely on this brush. Yeah, as you break the embossing, you can see the sparkle. I'm gonna put that here. I mean, I could use my finger too and I might, but I always like to try brush first. This is a really pretty copper. And it is definitely sparkly. I have a little bit of sparkle on my lashes now, but I don't have any fallout. But that is why I did my eyes first. Also, I feel like the, the intensify stick really helps with fallout. Okay, really like the way that looks. I'm gonna pick up some with my finger and ruin the embossing even more. It is a little bit of a drier shimmer, but it is really pretty. But I don't mind, I feel like drier shimmers just mean more sparkle. And this is definitely a sparkly shade. You could probably use a wet brush to make it a little bit more foiled. But yeah, having a tacky base, I think, is beneficial for a, a drier formula. And then let's go in a little bit with the champagne shade. That one is definitely smoother. Even touching it, I don't see all the sparkle. So that's a different formula. I'm just put a little bit of that on the inner corner and blend the two together. Okay, really like that, really pretty. I do want to see what the teal glitter is like. Oh, it's even more sparkly. That's really pretty. It does remind me of one of the shades from the other palette. Let me see. The other one's darker. So this is the one I have this is from the Phoenix palette. You can see it's a little bit darker and more blackened. This has that like mid-tone to dark teal base with a bunch of sparkle in it. Oh, that is really beautiful. So it's got that mostly teal, but there's pink, there's gold, there's uh, purple. That's a really pretty shimmer. I will definitely be using that next time. But I already put the copper all over. Okay, so let's do foundation and then we can finish the rest of the face uh, with my standard bronzer, this blush, we can do all of that later. So let's do the face. I'm gonna put some primer down. I'm gonna use my favorite primer to see how it works with the, the new foundation. This is the Surratt. And this is just a really lovely, soft uh, primer. As I rub my face, it gets more red. Um, it's, gives like a soft blur to the skin, really nice, and it, you know, kind of helps you be less shiny, but with, it's not like too matte, it's not like the Milk Matte Primer, which I do like for when I need it. Um, it is wildly expensive, but I still love it, and that's the person I've become, apparently. Okay. Gotta cover the redness here so that this part of my face matches the rest of me. Okay, so the shade. I got medium to olive. So I was torn between medium to olive and light, it was like light medium for olive or something like that. I don't remember the exact number. And I asked my, I looked at the models, I looked at the swatches, you know, it's only online only. This does come to Ulta at the end of the month. Uh, but it's on About Face's website only right now. It retails for $22, which is a great price. And the fact that they have olive undertones in every category from very light to dark made me really happy and is why I wanted to try and review it, even though I don't really need <laughs> another foundation. Um, but I looked at the shades and I was like, I think the medium olive, but I'm not 100%. The light medium looks too light. Like it looks like a brightening concealer shade for me. And I asked Steven, Steven Ford, I asked my best friend, Natasha, I asked my husband, I asked a few people, and they were all like, based on the model and everything, yes, I think medium too. 
And I was like, okay, gonna go with my gut and just order it. <laughs> and I did, and it is a little dark. It's not quite my summer shade. My summer shade would be darker than this because I do tan really easily, but it's not quite January me either. Um, but I still feel like the light medium one might be even too light. So I don't know, not a perfect shade match, kind of between the shades, which is not uncommon. Um, but I can still, you know, give thoughts. I'll do wear tests. I did put this on half my face yesterday when it came, um, and it didn't look bad. It was like, oh, it's slightly too dark, but not like horrendously bad. So I was like, whatever, we'll just go with it. Um, so this is the bottle. It looks just like the eyeshadows, the, the liquid eyeshadows that they make. I think they're lipsticks also. Don't love the liquid eyeshadows, I actually. Returned the ones that I bought. I hated them. Um, they were, like, the one of them was really patchy and just, like, did not want to blend, no matter what type of brush, finger, whatever I used. Wouldn't layer on itself, just got patchier every time I tried to use it. And then the other one was less patchy, but still didn't look great. And then, even with primer, just, like, creased and looked bad after, like, a little while. So I was just, like, these are a no-go for me. So hoping this is better, although when I did put this on, it was very shiny. And so this, the claims for this, this is the Performer Skin Focus Foundation. Again, skincare infused, $22. Had to try it. I feel like I'm just rambling. But they say it was like a satin skin-like finish, which is my favorite kind. The way she described it on the post, the way about face and Halsey described it, sounded a lot like the Pat McGrath Foundation. Uh, and so I was very excited to try that, and it so far is not that. <laughs> but we'll see. I will be doing wear tests this week, and we'll come back in a, at, probably in about a week with a better review or so, or with a full review. But for now, let's just try it. So it comes with a doe foot. I don't think I've ever used a foundation that doesn't have a pump or some kind of squeezing and out kind of mechanism. I've never used a foundation with a doe foot, but I do like, like I use the... Givenchy concealer as foundation a lot and it's you know the same kind of thing you do get a lot of product here it's 1.08 fluences so a little bit more than average so I'm going to tap a little bit around I wear my foundation pretty sheer but you can see it's just like it's a good undertone match um it's definitely olive I don't even normally put foundation on my forehead um unless I really need to and then I'm going to grab this is my Sonia G Jumbo base, it's one of my go-to brushes. And I'm just gonna blend this in and see how it looks. I'm gonna grab my mirror. So I don't usually use a sponge. I know some people, that's all they use. I really hate the sensation of a sponge on my face. Um, I might try it this week, we'll see, I do have some. So that was just a few dots here and there and it does blend into the skin really nicely. Need a little bit more though, but I don't think it looks that bad of a shade match at the moment. Not perfect, but you know, not the worst. Okay, so I need a little bit more here, a little bit more here. I mean, they're always going to look weird when it's like, you know, a thick swatch because you're never going to wear that thick of a swatch. A little bit on between my eyes. And then I'm just gonna keep blending that in with this. I do think this primer is helping. It is looking significantly less glowy than it did the other day. So when I used it without any primer, just like on my skin, and I didn't even have skincare on, so it wasn't like the skincare was super glowy, like it was glowy. I had to fully powder, and then it started to look like skin but it was, it was a lot at first. And it's been so cold, my ears are all red. I don't really wanna put, I mean, they're just red from being outside and taking the dog out, so I don't really wanna put stuff on them because <laughs> then I can't, you know, lay down. But, so I have foundation here, nothing on my forehead. And it's not that bad of a shade match. I think it's matching my forehead pretty well matching my hands, blended out pretty well. I have like 
you know, this part of my face is red that I'm trying to cover. And then I feel like right here, not even my throat, but like right here is a little pale. And then everywhere else is like one color. So for my legs, my legs are always like way darker than the rest of my body. <laughs> it's gone. So I haven't added concealer. I haven't powdered. Just have it, you know, the lower half of my face cover the redness and razor burn basically. Redness here, razor burn down here. And I think this is looking very skin-like. So I'm at a little bit of concealer now. Don't have one from house uh, from About Face, so I'm gonna use my House Labs. Um, this is Light Medium 23, yeah. And it is almost empty. I'll put a little bit right here. Okay, so I added the concealer, really liking the way my complexion's looking, actually. This might, you know, might work out really well. I, the other primers I have are the Hydro Grip, the matte one from Milk, and then maybe another one? That might be it. Although I think Lisa says you can kind of use this as a primer too. So I'll try all the different options this week before I do like a real review. But first impression wise, you know, natural light. I mean, I'm using a ring light, but also in front of four giant windows. I think this looks pretty good and I think my face is, yeah, I think it matches my forehead, it matches my hands. Yeah, I think it looks like skin. So, so far so good. Also the lip is definitely dry now. It does come off a little bit. There's like minimal transfer, but for a comfort mat, it kind of looks like I'm not wearing one. Definitely liking it. Okay, so now to set, I normally would use my house labs to set um and i think i might because i want to you know see how this works with it but i'm going to use a little bit of the the new powder as well let's just try the new i don't know i don't like having multiple so i don't really like having multiple variables of like variables of a new foundation and a new powder i did try this the other day though so i know what this feels like and i'm gonna take i'm gonna try it a little bit let's see it is definitely a brightening powder. So I'm gonna set the middle of my face with this and see how it goes. Like I said, this is, I, they sent me the shade Z25 and then there's like Z23 or something, which is like the light beige. So this is medium beige, which is still pretty light. And I'm just gonna tap that right here. Okay, I feel like I just, pulled out some of my redness a little bit, but whatever. This is just a Sigma tapered cheek. I like this for setting my face. Okay, that's definitely a blurring powder. It's pretty sheer, but I definitely think it mattified and blurred really nicely, not like in a gross matte way. Maybe I don't need the House Ops powder today. Let's see. I'm just gonna lightly tap this where I'd want some blur. Okay, so really liking the powder. So I tried it the other day just over the house concealer, like I had it spot concealed as my only base. Um, and it looked really nice then too. It doesn't look heavy. And I think it stayed, I stayed looking blurred and like stuff for a while. So I think this is pretty good at oil control. So excited to see. I will obviously try the foundation with my normal powders and, you know, I'll do all of that stuff in the real review. So more on that later. So I forgot the blush was a cream blush, but it, I'm hoping it'll still be fine. I didn't powder very heavily. Um, and then I'm just going to put a little bronzer down first. This is my House Labs one in shade eight. And you can see I've got, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I have a huge dent. I feel like I'm going to hit pan on this pretty soon. And I like this shade because it adds a little bit of warmth and a little bit of sculpt without being too much. So bronzer's done. Now let's try the blush. Let's see. This is a really pretty color. They call this a red. What did they call this? They call this a sun-kissed red, which I don't really have a red. Oh, that's very silky. This does not feel like a cream. That says cream, right? Dream cream blush. 
The smoothest blend, smoothest blendable blush starts as a few starts with a fusion of moisturizing ingredients and rich pigment. Okay, apply with a brush, sponge, or fingers, then blend upwards. It feels silky. It doesn't feel like a cream. There's a little bit of density to it, like a cream, but it feels like a really finely milled powder at the same time. It's a very interesting formula. It's a really pretty color. It looks a little more pink in the pan. I did ruin the embossing a little bit. So let's put a little bit of that on. Try it with the fingers first. This blush, are, this brush has blush from the other day on the other side, but that's fine. I've wiped it off. That's a really pretty color. Okay, I'm very thankful that they sent this to me. Oh wow, that's, with a brush, it's really pigmented. <laughs> Okay, let me fix this. This Ruffer 5 brush picked up way too much of that, so let me take my powder brush and fix my mistake. That's with no extra powder, just what was already on it. Just blended it out, and that fixed it pretty well. I do think I have more blush on my left side. Then I do my right, but that's okay. So let's just try to even this out a little bit. Hi, Dean. Her basket of toys is right there, and she likes to slowly play, bring one to the window, slowly play, bring one to the window, and I put them all back earlier, so she's probably frustrated with me that they're in her basket and not strewn about the apartment. How dare I? Right, Bean? How dare I? <laughs> okay, that's looking really nice. I'm really liking my complexion today. I was nervous about this. One, because the color was just a light, slightly too dark, I think, or and also because of how shiny it was when I swatched it the other day, but today it's looking nice. Um, so, let's see. All that's left is I want to put a little bit more eyeshadow under my eye and then put mascara on. So I'm going to grab the brown shade and this is a Surratt brush. So this is a squirrel head brush, really soft. You can use this for shimmers, but I'm going to pick up a little bit of that brown and run it under my eye just because it's such a soft brush. It does, it feels nice right there and it doesn't pick up quite as much as the goat hair of the Ruffer brushes. And then with the rougher brush I already used, I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and diffused. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna go off camera real quick and add some mascara and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and just curled my lashes and put a little bit of my Victoria Beckham uh, mascara on and that's it. I really like the way my complexion came out today. This eyeshadow is also really pretty. It's definitely like, in the bathroom where I put the mascara on, you could really see the sparkle. So it's one of those kind of shimmers where it looks like this. And then when, you know, low light hits it or something, you really see all those little sparkles. So I'm really happy with that. Really like the way my skin looks. Really like this blush. This is a really pretty blush. Um, I'm really happy with everything they sent. And slash what I purchased so, so far. <laughs> let's wrap things up. First impression wise, really liking this eyeshadow palette. Thank you, Flurisis, for sending this. I will have everything linked down below as well. This launches on the 15th, I believe. Really pretty, really like this. Um, really excited to keep playing with this. I'm really excited to try this blue, especially now that I see it's kind of similar to this, but you know, um, really excited for that. This blush. Super cute. This is the only shade in it, but I'm glad that I noticed how pigmented it is because if you need to build it up, you can. Um, but really like the way it looks blended out. Also, this is just adorable. Uh, powder, really nice, definitely blurring. I wish they had more shades. Um, also with the cushion foundation, wish there were more shades. That seems to be a common issue among brands in general though. 
Just, I wish they had a better shade range. I say that about Surat too, and their bronzers. But this is, if this is a shade that would work for you, I think it's really a nice powder. Um, and then the lipstick, really comfortable. I will be wearing this a lot. It is very similar to like the cloud paints and stuff. I think it's a little bit thinner though. So I really don't, I don't feel it at all. So really like this. And foundation first impression, really happy with it actually. Um, surprisingly, especially after my like half first impression the other night, last night, I don't know, time means nothing, two nights ago when it came. Um, I was like, oh no, that's really shiny. And then I powdered it and I was like, that's still really shiny. Um, but it was also the end of the day. So I will be doing multiple day wear tests on this this week and I will report back to you in about a week or so. So before this launches in Ulta, you will have a full review on this. So that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you all in my next video.